get the best ideas, you need interaction with other people. Ideas rarely uh, come out of the blue sky. They, they arrive from bits and pieces uh, and discussions with all kinds of other people, and that is simulated in this building. The building itself is a marvelous place to be, as it's a very nice place to do the work. It's inviting to do the work, and the facilities are state-of-the-art. It's top of the bill. The special of this building is its openness. Full of interaction between people, uh, full of interaction between education and research. People are meeting each other throughout the day, many places on the stairs, coffee machines, everywhere. And being a meeting place for people, that's where new ideas are born. And that's what we want. Eindhoven University is very well known for the photonics research work. And we are leading, uh, we are two years ahead of uh, the rest of the world in that respect. And that's all done in the laboratories here. Building big laboratories, everybody can do. What is important is what you do in them. Doing research at a very high level requires infrastructure. And that's what has been done in this building. is that people have a place to sit, but that's not the place where they are uh, working all day. So they have the laboratories to do their uh, practical work, their experimental work. Uh, they have the uh, meeting places, meeting rooms, where they have all facilities available for doing the meetings. Uh, they have quiet rooms where they can work quietly if necessary, writing papers, writing proposals, uh, doing the work that the scientists need to do. The physics department they make materials, they try to understand materials, they try to improve the materials. And the uh, Department of Electronical Engineering, uh, Electrical Engineering, they use those materials to make new devices. So the combination of the two is, is, is the key to success. On first impression, this is a building like any other uh, university building, office building. Except when you look more carefully, you don't see any heat convectors for heating the building. You don't see any big ventilation openings for air conditioning. The concrete floor makes the building a cave. But the energy which is consumed by the building is not used for creating heat and for creating uh, cool air. It's used for moving the energy from deeper layers in the ground to the building with a constant temperature which hardly needs any additional adjustment. What you see is that in the fields that we are operating at and uh, that there are many opportunities for close collaboration and that's what we have been able to establish already before we were uh, together in one building, but having this combined building where people meet each other uh, throughout the day, many places, many ways, uh, that is the way to further stimulate and further develop that collaboration between those parties. Enabling top-level research, really, yeah. And that's what we are looking for. <laughs>